Hi everyone, Rishi here and today I'm going to show you guys how to insert footnotes and endnotes as well as citations and a bibliography using Google Docs. So here it is, we have our document, right? So this is some dummy text laid out on the Google Doc sheet. I have highlighted uh, some sections of the document that we will be using to demonstrate um, inserting footnotes as well as endnotes and citations and bibliography. So on our first section here, so we want to enter a footnote. So those, that, so where you see there's a um, gray highlight, that is where we, we're going to be putting footnotes. So it's very simple, right? All you have to do is just place a cursor at the end of the text or the sentence that you would like to leave a footnote for, right? You click on insert and we go to footnote, right? And there we also see the shortcut on Google Docs, which is control, alt, and the F key, right? So we click on insert footnotes and here at the bottom of the screen, it, sh it shows us where exactly we need to type our footnote, right? And whatever note it is you leave in, in your document, you can use it um, as that. You can type it there, sorry. Now, the second part is so we can have multiple footnotes um, inserted on the same page, right? So if it is we have another um, footnote we may want to add, again, we click on insert, go to select footnote, and here it is, we have our sec um, second footnote, and this is where we um, type in our note for that particular um, paragraph or um, sentence. As we scroll along, right, so the sentence highlighted in teal, Right, we, we are going to show how to put in citations, right? So citations is basically your source of reference, where it is you would have gotten your um, information from. Now, um, before that, Google Docs used to have the explore option, right? Where it um, actually see, um, searches the um, internet for, uh, um, for information relating to the um, selected paragraph or selected sentence or word that you may have used in your document. So now they have added the citations section here, which is pretty cool. So when you click on it, it opens up on the right hand pane of the Google Docs. And as you can see, I have already added a few sample um, citations. So what you want to do first is select your um, citation style, be it MLA, APA, or Chicago or today, right? So in this instance, we're using the APA, and you can add a citation source by clicking on Add Citation Source. So it depends on where you um, get your information from. You can either select book, um, website, book section, journal articles, right? As TV episodes, TV series, um, journal, um, journal articles, newspaper articles, films, right? So let's say we want to have information. Let, let's say, let's use a series, right? And here now, access by, so you can see um, we access it on TV, a website, or online database. We can put it at a website, right? Executive producer, right? And you put the producer's name, who whoever would have um, uh, made the show, right? So can't remember any producers at the top of my head, right? So just using some dummy data, right? If it is a corporation organization, you can select that and put the company's name. I believe this is a production house, yeah? So we can use that as well. Um, contributors, you can put the title of the film. Production company, publish a year. Right, so the rest here you, you can leave these out um, as it's not reckon, um, it's not required. Right, the URL, however, you would need to put in. Right, so we can put in something like um, Netflix.com. Right, and add citation source. Right, so here it is, we have our citation source from a TV series, right? We have one from a book, one from a website. Now, for us to insert our citation source, we click basically set to where we want to um, insert our um, source, right? And you just click on site, and you're going to see it shows us the author's name, 
right? And here they tell us to replace the number, um, the pound sign with page number. So whatever page number of the um, of that particular book that you may get, you just insert the page number there, right? And here now we can actually add in um, a website for a site um, for, for a particular source, right? And here we can use the one that we just added, which is a TV series. We can say that as well, right? And along so we can add multiple sources so whoever so you could use the source more than once right so we could cite here right as we go along we could put history here right so it's very 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 straightforward remember again to um, the insert citations you click on please you go to citations and it opens up this window pane here on the right hand side of the screen. It allows you, you could go ahead and add your citation source wherever you would have gotten your information from. And then you could come about, go about inserting your information in the document. Now, when it is your, uh, you have completed your um, citations, you can now insert your bibliography. And it's very easy here now with the citation option. There is an option to insert bibliography. So we're going to click on that. And there you see that all of our information that we would have added, the sources, it is already there for us, automatically created right here on Google Docs. Now, one more thing I'd like to add before we go, it is adding EndNotes. Now, just like footnotes, EndNotes normally appear at the end of your um, documents, right? We want to see this, that all the information or everything has been completed um, successfully on um, on your document now to do the end notes the insert end notes now there is no option here as you can see so we have footnotes but there's no option to actually insert an end note. so what you'll have to do is to go and install an add-on right which is um, everybody uses the end note generator so basically to get that you click on get add-ons And here it is, you can search for the EndNote generator. Well, my is already installed. So basically what you want to do, once you click on it, you see, you click on the install button. It'll pop up to ask you which Google account you're going to be using. Select the one that you're using. Um, and it will ask you to allow access to the app to install the add-on. Click yes, install it. Right, and you would see back on add-ons, you're going to see this end note generator here. So we want to go and test it out. So we're going to click on run. Now, what this is going to do, right? So we're going to see in a minute here, right? So end note generator, this add-on converts footnotes in the documents into end notes. So before running, are you done with your footnotes? Convert into end notes will reset your citations to zero, meaning you can't insert footnotes in order. Please finish inserting footnotes before converting. Click generate below to convert. Now, I would recommend that you guys make a copy of the document you're currently working on to avoid any errors. Um, or if it is that you want to add something last minute, you will not be able to go back and add it. So to easily, um, to avoid this, you could basically go to make a copy, right? Um, you can leave it as, as that, click okay. And if you like, you can do the end notes. You can insert the end notes on the copy document. And if there's any changes to be made, you can go ahead and do it back on the original. So we're going to go ahead with our end note generator. So click on run. So just to confirm that we have a couple of end notes here. Um, I just want to change something. So we will remove this site here. And I want to add an end note here as well. Right. So, do you guys remember um, where we need to go for it? Right. So, we click on insert and click on footnotes. And we have our third endnote here. So, it automatically updates here using um, one of these you're using Google Docs. Right. So, we have our third footnote added. Well, what, what happens is that if it is that we add another one here, is it another footnote here? We 
have our four footnotes at. Now, if it is that we remove, let's say we remove one of the footnotes at the top. So we remove the first one. Now notice at the footnotes at the bottom of the page itself, you can remove the note, but you can't remove the footnote itself. So in order for us to do that, we have to now go to that source directly and let's simply backspace. As you can see, there's already a change here. So number two now becomes number one. So if you look here now, you'll see that our second footnote is now our first footnote actually. And we scroll down a bit, we're going to see our third became, uh, became our second and our fourth became our third footnote. So um, Google Docs, like just like in Microsoft Word, automatically updates our um, footnotes once any changes are made. Now on to our endnotes generator now. So we have already, we've made our changes. Now we want to generate an endnote. So when we click on generate, you're going to see it's generated and then you see all footnotes converted. So what that means is that there is no more footnotes. As you can see in the document here, the footnotes have been erased. Right, so as we scroll through our document, we're going to see at the very last, our endnotes have been added here. Now, you may ask, so what it, so how, if it is like add another footnote, would it update? Now, the question, the answer to, to, to that is no. So if it is, you, so you can add another footnote. So you go to insert. Right? And we, you are able to type in um, your footnote for the document. Now notice the end note, nothing changes. It remains the same because it has finalized our footnotes and converted them into end notes. Right? So in some documents, you may have both footnotes and end notes. So I know like in MS Word, it allows us to, have, to, have, to use both footnotes and end notes. Right, Microsoft uh, on Google Docs now you can only have one out of the two, but in this case you can add footnotes along with your endnotes as we can see here. And that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial and hope to see you all soon. Take care everyone and keep writing.